Hi, my name is Eben Chen. I am uh, from Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, and I'm here at ASH in San Diego, and I'm summarizing uh, the work that I will be presenting. It is a phase 1B study uh, administering the monoclonal antibody vedolizumab in addition to standard tacrolimus and methotrexate graft-versus-host disease prophylaxis for patients after allos stem cell transplantation. This work uh, arose out of the motivation that the knowledge that our standard prophylaxis methods for graft versus host disease is not adequate. Despite what we use as standard, still anywhere from 30 to 60 percent of our patients after transplantation will be afflicted with acute graft versus host disease. And it is a major cause of early mortality after stem cell transplantation. And even for patients who are able to be treated and survive, it is a major cause of morbidity. The phenotype that is the most troublesome is lower gastrointestinal involvement, and that has been difficult to treat for physicians like myself for years. Vedolizumab is a monoclonal antibody uh, that's made by Takeda Pharmaceuticals, who is the sponsor of this study. Vedolizumab is approved for the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, its target is a molecule called alpha-4-beta-7 integrin, which is a specific lymphocyte trafficking molecule. In plain terms, that means these are the molecules that dictate where white blood cells go in the body and how they get there. Alpha-4 beta-7 is thought to be a specific gut homing receptor for lymphocytes because its ligand is MADCAM1, which is specifically expressed on the high endothelial venules of the intestine and associated lymphoid tissue. Preclinical mouse studies from long ago by colleagues in Japan as well as those at Memorial Sloan Kettering had suggested that interrupting the alpha-4 beta-7 MADCAM interaction could prevent graft-versus-host disease, specifically of the intestine. My own interest in this work date back 10 or 15 years ago, and our own preclinical studies uh, derived from samples of our own patients after transplantation suggested that the alpha-4 beta-7 integrin was upregulated on donor effector cells either at the time of graft-versus-host disease or even in the month before. Further supporting this idea were the few case reports that started coming out starting several years ago of using vedolizumab to actually treat patients with steroid refractory graft-versus-host disease, the first report of which was done by my friend Yingvar Floysand out of Oslo. So this study was adding vedolizumab to standard tacrolimus and methotrexate after graft-versus-host disease. This is a small study, a total of only 24 patients. Its primary endpoints were to define the safety and tolerability, as vedolizumab had never been used in this setting, uh, but also to find a dose that we could further take into more definitive studies to be used uh, for prophylaxis for graft-versus-host disease. Our study enrolled 24 patients uh, based on the pharmacokinetics as well as the clearance of the drug, we saw that actually the drug used in the transplant setting behaved very similarly to that of inflammatory bowel disease. And so we settled on a 300 milligram dose to take into further studies. It was very safe. There are very few treatment emergent adverse events in our 24 patients that were treated. Uh, in fact, only one serious adverse event was potentially attributed to uh, vedolizumab. Uh, there was an initial fear that vedolizumab might harm the graft because of prior reports showing the expression of alpha-4 beta-7 integrin on hematopoietic progenitor cells, but 100% of our patients engrafted successfully. There were no untoward infections observed. There were only a few gut-derived infections that we did not think were out of the norm for our population. Most importantly, uh, albeit in a small number of our patients, in the 24 patients treated, uh, there were only two cases by 12 months of grades three through four acute graft versus host disease. All right. uh, there's only one case at the day 100 traditional cutoff. If we looked at the lower GI organs specifically, there was only there were zero cases of stage three or four lower GI acute graft versus host disease, and only one case of stage two. And granted, these are small numbers, but the study was not designed to prove that vedolizumab should be a part of prophylaxis, but it did establish the safety and it establishes the dose that we should use moving forward. We found the data quite encouraging and compelling, and the plans are for a stage three international study to move forward studying vedolizumab in combination with tacrolimus and methotrexate, which will open in Europe and also the United States. And we look forward to that. Thank you very much.